In this problem, Mr. Williams received 35 boxes of books at his bookstore. There were 10 books in each box. What is the total number of books that Mr. Williams received? Well, imagine if we have one box of books, right? This is my box of books. And inside there are 10 books. Well, if you do this 35 times, because we have 35 boxes, you'll get all the books that we have. In other words, we're finding 35 times 10. Okay, how do we do that? Well, there are many ways to do it. Um, I'm going to use the stacking method. 35 times 10. What do we do? Well, first we take this 0 and multiply it by 5. 5 times 0 is 0. 0 times 3 is next. 0 times 3 is 0. Keep going. Now, well, now it's really 1 times 5. That 1 is really 10. So 10 times 5 is 50. So we can't put the 5 here. It goes here. right? This is the place for 10s. But usually to prevent us from making that mistake, we put a placeholder here first before we multiply to see that 1 times 5 needs to be 50 and not just a 5 over here. That wouldn't make sense. Next, we have 10 times 30 or 1 times 3. You can think of that as 3 or 300. Now we add these columns. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 5 is 5, and we just have 0 plus 3 is 3. So the answer is 350 books. Now, this is a technique that works for all kinds of complicated multiplication, but multiplying by 10 is awesome because when you take a number like 35 and multiply it by 10, notice that the answer is really just 35 and then 1, 0. This always works. Let's say I had 36 times 10. Well, that would equal... 360 or 30, 360. What if I had 42 times 10? Well, that's 420. Uh, try with another one, 99 times 10. Seems tough, but really you can think of it as 990. And I'll leave it to you to think about why this is happening. We have other videos to talk about that, but it's really a great property. So, right, so multiplying by 10 makes your life easy. Thanks.